Friends, today I'm coming at you with an updated list of piercings and tattoos that I have as of December 31st, 2020, which is today. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about each tattoo first, and then I'm going to carry on to piercings. And as I talk about each item, I'm going to try and show a picture right here so you can kind of see everything as I'm talking about each thing, okay? So starting with my tattoos, I have on my lower back a butterfly and that butterfly represents four generations of women in my family who were alive together so that's really special and I've had that since I was in my early 20s so uh, maybe mid 20s early to mid late-ish 20s I was in my 20s <laughs> okay so carrying on with my tattoos I have on my upper left arm I have a heart that is made up of blue roses and the inspiration behind that is my grandma my dad's mom she had a shadow box in her apartment and in that shadow box was a heart made up of blue roses so I took a picture of it because I loved it and every time I saw something like that I thought of her so I wanted to get that on me in honor of her so on the opposite arm, in the same area, upper right arm, um, I have another heart, but this one has the infinity sign going through it, and that just represents infinite love. So anytime something happens, whether it's good or bad, just keep loving. That's my motto. Just keep loving. Forever love. And on the same shoulder area, but on my shoulder blade, is the eagle with the verse Isaiah 41, no, 40, 31. <laughs> Long day today. Isaiah 40, 31. And that was my dad's favorite verse. And I got that in honor of him. He's been in heaven now for seven years. And I wanted to get that tattoo on his birthday, um, even though it was after he uh, went home. Anyway, um, so that was his favorite verse, so that's in honor of my dad. All right, I'm going actually head down, so I, I, I filmed this before and I actually skipped the tattoo, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on and now to my arms. So on my inner left arm is a blue seahorse and this character represents my one of my best friends she also is um, passed away she uh, passed away in 2014 I believe so it's been uh, quite a while as well and I miss her dearly we've had a lot of fun together and she loves seahorses that was her thing and she even had a couple and uh, that was any time I see a seahorse, I think of her. So I got that in honor of her. Now on the same arm, but in my inner wrist, is a tattoo of a blue heart with a music note. And there's an EKG line. And that is actually my first EKG. So that tattoo represents the beat of life goes on. I love music. I love life. So um, the beat of life goes on. On the opposite wrist, my right wrist uh, inside, is a set of hearts that is made to look like a semicolon. And the colors also represent the whole, the, the story is not over movement. I don't know if you've heard about that, but it is a thing. Um, go ahead and Google it if you're interested. But uh, my story is not over. My story continues and it will continue for as long as the author wants it to continue. And yeah, so that is a reminder to me that my story is not over. All right, so the next and last two tattoos are on my ankles. The one on my left ankle is a clock with a red rose. Now these represent my grandparents on my mom's side. So the clock is a reminder. Um, my grandpa always worked on clocks and pocket watches and uh, I remember being over there at their house and, and there would be all these little clocks and like cuckoo clocks and, and just clocks ticking and ticking. That sound to this day comforts me because it reminds me of a really happy time in my childhood and, and him working on all those clocks. So uh, that is 
a very special tattoo. And the red rose is uh, my grandma's favorite flower. Now you'll see on this on this rose that you'll see a set of three leaves. They had three children. My mom was in the middle. So if you look at the middle leaf there, you'll see a ladybug. And my mom loves ladybugs. So um, yeah, so I got that in honor of uh, pretty much the whole family, <laughs> the whole family on, on her side and her siblings and parents. And yeah, so uh, on the right ankle is a sun and that reminds me that the sun will always shine. Yeah, life gets gloomy sometimes. It's part of life, but the sun will always shine. The sun always comes up every day. So that's just a, a reminder in me of that. All right, so I do believe that's all nine of my tattoos. I don't plan on getting any more at this time. I, that may change. If it does, I'll let you know, and I'll certainly brag about it and, and show you. So let's go ahead and carry on to the piercings. So the uh, one piercing I have is my navel. Uh, and that's my second navel piercing. The first one I got, I was in my early 20s, and it never really healed right. And so I just decided to remove it. A few years later, I went ahead and got it again. And I still have it to this day. It healed perfectly, no problems at all. And it didn't even hurt that bad the second time. If you're somebody who wants your navel pierced and you've had it pierced before and you're afraid that they're gonna go through scar tissue, it's not bad. It's really not bad. I've done it and it's, it's okay. It healed perfectly. And then my next one is my tongue ring, my tongue piercing. I've had that since I was in my late 20s as well. I think I got that one actually before my second belly button piercing. So I've had both of these for quite a while. All right, and the next two groups of piercings are gonna be each ear. So in my left ear, I have my one half inch lobes also uh, 12 or 13 millimeters, um, however you do your measurements. And yeah, so I've had these at this size for quite a while now and I don't plan to stretch up. And above that are my second and third lobes on each side. Um, but I'm gonna focus on the, less, the left ear since that's the one you're looking at. Above that, you'll see the orbital in my helix and I, I probably can't tell but I love orbitals <laughs> yeah um, I also have a date uh, date heart and I also have my zero gauge eight millimeter conches these have a 14 gauge hoop going through the tunnels because I like the aesthetic and the, the uh, hoop also goes through my uh, orbitals on my lobes Okay, so right ear. I have pretty much the same everything except the helix is only one and it's a big piece of jewelry so I wanted a little bit of asymmetry um, but mainly I like symmetry so yeah I pretty much got the same things otherwise in that ear and I uh, every same measurements half inch lobes and zero gauge conches. So that is it for my piercings, and I also don't plan on getting more at this time, but if I do, again, I will let you know, and I will certainly show you. So if you have any piercings and tattoos that you're um, proud of, uh, feel free to tell me about them. I'd love, to, I'd love to know. And if you have any questions, feel free to throw those at me too, and yeah, hopefully I can, you know, answer you as best I can. I'm not really a professional, but I'm just somebody who's an enthusiast who's been doing this for quite a while. And I just, I love it. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you with me. And if you have already subscribed, thank you so much. It is awesome having you on board. And if, again, if you have any questions or anything, just throw them at me and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.